2024, what's what's kind of what's this year looking like for y'all? What's going to be happening? Uh, talk to me about this year. Cobes, talk to us about 2024. 2024 is going to be a fun one. Um, we're sitting right now in DPHQ2 on the basketball court. We've been in this space for about seven years now. And uh, in a couple of months, we will be moving to DPHQ3, um, up the tollway, PJ Parkway. First time we will ever have a Dude Perfect retail store. So we're excited about that. Looking forward to meeting some more folks um, in the greater Dallas area. But, yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. We've loved being in Frisco. And, um, yeah, our next headquarters is uh, under construction right now. So obviously the new headquarters is really exciting, but we've got a lot of other really fun projects. Um, today we're excited to talk about the fact that we are launching our very own Dude Perfect Flavor for Smoothie King. Super pumped about it. Um, I'll let Corey speak to the level of smoothie connoisseur that specifically the twins are. Um, it's, it's, it's on a pretty different level nationally. Yeah, you, you could call it a love story between the dudes and Smoothie King. It started specifically in, in college. We went to Texas A&M, and uh, that's, I believe, where our obsession with Smoothie King began. I will admit, I don't know if I'm embarrassed or proud, probably leaning towards proud to say that uh, I have had probably more Smoothie King than than basically anyone in America. Wow. And I know what you're thinking at home. You're thinking, no, that's that's hyperbole. You're exaggerating, Corey. And the answer is no, I'm not exaggerating. Uh hey. I've had basically one a day for as long as I can remember. Wow. And we started drinking smoothies in College Station about 15 years ago. Uh, recently, uh, when we got approached by Smoothie King to do this, I said, guys, I've had an absurd amount of smoothies. Let me know if I'm truly as high in the category as I think I am. And they checked. And I am currently in the 5%. I'm currently in the top 5% of all smoothie drinkers. 5,475 smoothies. One that's day, that's so years. many. Multiply that's that so that many. Yeah. And that doesn't even count how many that I DoorDash, which wow. is, you could argue I do that even more than go to the physical location. I'm a <laughs> massive Smoothie King fan. And so when they said, guys, would you like to create your own smoothie? It was the easiest yes in 15 years. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. It is, truly. Boy, We're pumped we about it. We nailed it. We, uh, so well, it's a little bit of... Um, Kiwi, pineapple, banana, mm -hmm. blue, spirulina. I, that always that always trips me up. That was key to get to the. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. matches the color of uh, you know, I wanted it to be purple, obviously. We had a purple. We option. did. It got. It, I think it got third, yeah. which is on the podium. Yeah. Checks out. Uh, but uh, I love it. I mean, got some protein in it. You know, if you want to build some muscle. It's it's delicious. Our goal was to set out lofty goal was to set out to create the perfect smoothie. And I think we, we pretty much nailed it. Kobe, I will give you credit as we all individually competed to find the best flavor. This was Kobe's. I'll give you credit. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it and I received the credit. Um, in Dupert fashion, there was a competition and it just felt right um, to make it a competition and the winner would get a national smoothie flavor. So here we are. Well, it's, it's Gare, Corey, Ty, Kobe, and Codes. Uh, we started 15 years ago in our backyard in College Station making trick shots, and uh, we have been making content ever since. Had no intention of starting a brand or a business or anything like that, and over the years, uh, it's just been kind of slow growth, and it's turned into something way bigger than any of us ever imagined that it would, and um, like Kobe said, we're moving to our third headquarters here pretty soon. We're working on all kinds of projects that we're really excited about in 24 and 25 coming up. Um, and it's, it's really, the brand is growing even beyond the five of us, uh, being on camera, which we're excited about. We think it's a lot of fun and we are lucky enough to travel all over the world and film with incredible athletes and celebrities and, uh, get to experience all kinds of different things now that our wives are kind of sick of hearing us say once in a lifetime opportunities because we usually get one or two of those a month now. It is once in a lifetime opportunities this year. This year. Sure. Yeah, there's just there's a lot more once in a lifetime opportunities than you might think out there. Um, and so we've been fortunate enough to um, be able to do a lot of those. Absolutely. So this new headquarters, how does it kind of differ compared to the first two? Why is this one, you know, the right step for you all? Yeah, so uh, I think there's two different things that people think about when they hear our next headquarters. Um, the next headquarters that we're specifically talking about is going to be basically our next version of this. We started right off Main Street in Frisco, a small little 5,000 square foot space. Didn't even think we really needed an office, ended up using it a ton and filmed a bunch of videos in there. So we were like, man, if we really put some thought into it, I think in our next space we could actually like utilize it and create 
specific studio space and like have some of these fun elements that you know makes it kind of fantasy factory feel um rob deerdeck was uh, a producer of our tv show so we always you know watched his stuff growing up on tv and wanted to create a similar vibe of just a fun environment to work and play out of and and help us facilitate some of that content and so the third generation of this space is is kind of the next evolution and the next step of that even and um, just taking it to the next level so there'll be some additional uh sporting courts i guess some some putt putt of course basketball pickleball will be there um, a more well thought out design studio space and how other people can even utilize that. Kobe mentioned a retail space for people to come and be able to actually purchase things because even now here we just don't have anything that's um, designed or open to the public, which is unfortunate. They just stand outside and take a really bad picture of the sign way too high up. Uh, so we're excited about that to have at least a small place for people to come and visit. But um, I think the other project that we've uh, had some really good meetings recently on is our big destination where families would be able to come to and experience a lot of the dude perfect um, things that they've watched in videos and they've seen us do over the years but they'd be able to actually try them in person and so uh, we have made some good progress on that in the last uh, last month and are really excited to continue that project which has just turned out to be much longer and much more work intensive than any of us ever thought that it would be, um, which is great, but it's something that we've been working on for a long time and we want to make sure we get it right before we rush something out there. What about Frisco? What about <clears throat> Frisco? I'm sure you've been asked for, but just tell me what, what attracted you to this area and just the community and why does this fit for Do Perfect? Yeah, so we're all Texas boys, grew up here. Um, Cody, me and Garrett are all Dallas area guys. The twins were from Houston. Uh, they no longer support any Houston based teams, which Correct. is nice. They've officially come over. Um, but, uh, you know, I, our families are here. Uh, we think this is a phenomenal place to live and raise a family. And uh, there's there's a very short list of places that we would move outside of Texas. So um, we, uh, we want to stay here. We would love for our destination to be here. Um, but we also want it to be accessible to a lot of people and for people to be able to experience um, do perfect in the way that we want them to. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully it ends up being close, but there's there's a few other places that we've had some, some great meetings that, um, who knows, maybe it'll end up somewhere else. As we've mentioned, we've been doing this for 15 years now, and it's been a ton of fun. We, we honestly could not have had more fun. People um, always ask us if we think it's the best job in the world, and I think our honest answer would be yes. Like I do not think you could have a better job working with your close friends um, doing things that you love like this. It's truly an absolute blast. And while we've had a lot of fun and people get to watch us have fun, we want to create ways for the families who watch to experience that fun together. And so internally we've been calling it Do Perfect 2.0, but um, we want this next 15 years of Do Perfect to be um, creating things that families can truly have the same types of feelings that we've had while we've been able to do these fun things. So um, whether that's in certain products that we come out with for families to have fun together, whether that's more live experiences like we've been doing the live um, tours over the summers, um, whether that's entirely new types of tours that we take to people or things like Ty was alluding to with an in-person destination, whether that traveled around to different cities or whether you were able to go or whether you went to one specific place to experience Dude Perfect World. Uh, that's the kind of thing that we really hope that the next 15 years will provide. And we talk, um, I have no idea who Dave or Buster are, but I like Dave and Busters, right? So we hope that the Dude Perfect brand will mean something bigger than the five of us one day when we're 60 and not making basketball trick shots from the top of a Vegas tower. Um, so we're really excited about that. We've been really grateful for the support from families all these years. And clearly God had something bigger in mind for Dude Perfect than we did when we started a long time ago in that college station backyard. So we're really grateful. What's y'all's favorite trick shot, favorite video, favorite moment? Uh, just share something of that moment that y'all love. Yeah, I think for me, my favorite moment <clears throat> was the wing walking where I stood on the top of a plane because once I accomplished it, I was like, I'm done, never doing anything like that again. The adrenaline junkie that I was as a young buck is now over, and I'm passing the baton on to Ty and anyone else who's willing to do a daredevilish stunt. I'm done. No more. The guys give me a very hard time for bringing this up. When the question is asked, I feel like the honest answer to that question, my favorite experience over these last 15 years was I had the opportunity to go to space. Um, last year and that's just something I didn't expect when we started you know a YouTube business 15 years ago so um, hats off to you guys 
Uh, thank you for your support. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mostly, uh, I'm just grateful that uh, my wife let me go because that was the real test. Proud of you. Thanks, astronaut Cotton. Don't Thanks, say that guys. enough. We're Thanks, so guys. proud of you. Can't believe we breathe the same air as this guy. Wow. Yeah. That, what an honor to be here with you today. Thanks for thanks for allowing us to be part of this interview with you and back. sharing in your smoothie concoction with us. It's, it's so nice of you to share that with the business and not keep it for yourself as an astronaut. <laughs> Um, I would say my favorite moment has been uh, a recent one, the Las Vegas shot that we did. We went and broke the world record again. Uh, honestly, at first, we really didn't even want to do it. We were, like, kind of over the really high basketball shots. And uh, a group of people pushed us to go do it and film it. And so, obviously, we did. And it ended up being a grueling disaster that was not fun until we actually made it. And just the amount of work that the team put into pulling that off from a post-production side to a pre-production side and everything in between that went into it um, made it that much more special. And that was, uh, that'll definitely go down as one of my favorite memories for sure. I would say something that none of us really ever expected to happen. We dreamed about it for a long time, um, but we couldn't really picture it until it happened was our live tour and being able to go all over the place. Uh, we've gone all over the U.S. And, and peaked into Canada, and that has been unbelievable to see people come in person and just to see you know families flooding in and, and selling out all these places. It's really humbling. And it's been really fun for us to have that touch point because you, know, you, you hear people say it, but you just see the numbers come in on YouTube or you see the comments, but seeing people in person is, you can't beat it. And it's been really fun. And we're, we're excited. We're actually going on an international tour this year. Uh, big news. And so that's going to be fun for us to do that. We're going over to Europe and uh, it's going to be really fun to, to go across the pond and, and see the excitement from, from some people a little farther away from us. But tour's been really fun. And we're excited to keep that up. Really thought he was going to say launching a smoothie because he's a smoothie guy. <laughs> the past. Yeah, um, I think, yeah, I mean, just like the smoothies with kind of within that realm, like launching the Dude Perfect board game uh, was pretty, pretty cool moment because it was like, you know, nationwide and uh, getting to see kids like open it up for Christmas and stuff was pretty cool. Um, that was probably my, one of my favorite moments. Yeah, I mean, whether it's, you know, the smoothie or anything else for us, we take everything that we promote and put out to our audience really seriously so for us when smoothie king approached us we knew that we were going to care about what it tasted like we knew that you know it needed to be um, pretty healthy and, and really fun and so for us we got in the smoothie king test kitchen and we took it seriously we tried to make sure that it tasted well, as incredible as possible four of us took it seriously sure so cody did it. cody put crazy things in his movie he put oh, vegetables in his Three of us took it, took it seriously. It, Ty put it needed to be red, white, and blue. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, yeah. yeah. Storyteller. Yeah. Smart. It's not going to be a high seller, Ty. So we, we decided to go with this one. But we really feel like we landed on the perfect smoothie. And uh, like I said, we take all of our opportunities seriously when they're going to go out to the families that we have, you know, uh, asked them to trust us. So we're pumped about it. Uh, we've got all these collector's cups. So you'll have to go to a Smoothie King near you guys and, and check it out. It's going to be really fun to roll it out. Can win prizes. You know, if you're into prizes. If yeah. you ever played that McDonald's yeah. game, you know, this is even better. Yeah, oh, it's going to be fun. You can scan to win prizes. <laughs> uh, grand prize, people get to come hang with us here at the office. Maybe it'll be at the new office, depending on when the, yeah, the prize is. That's exciting. Oh All right. That is exciting. Cheers.